Hello Internet. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a Java Spring Boot project or any Java project that has Cucumber in it uh, and it uses Maven, uh, and we're going to make the Maven run the Cucumber tests because I forgot to mention this in my previous video, uh, and the documentation on how to do this is woefully shit. So uh, let's let's do this. So um, at the moment, if we were to go to the cheeky little terminal and I was to run a Maven clean install, it's going to do some stuff and it won't run any Cucumber tests. It's just going to run the main application test which just exists. There we go. Uh, that is wrong. No, that's right. That's perfect. Right, so what it's done, uh, it's just ran one test. That isn't the Cucumber test. That's just the main application test that tests that the Spring context loads. So we're not running the Cucumber tests. Um, so what we need to do to make this run is we need to add a few things to the POM. Now, uh, if you go to the links in the description, so Maven Apache Surefire uh, and this uh, Maven repository for the JUnit Vintage Engine. So I'm running uh, JUnit 5 and uh, we'll be using whatever version this is, 3.00M5 of um, Surefire. So we need to add these to the POM, um, but it doesn't really explain how to do this properly on that documentation so we're going to ignore what it says just copy the code uh, from the website so here we've got this build section that has the plugins i want to create a section above this uh well within the build section called plugin management and i want to put in uh, the code now this is the code from the website um my code includes this configuration so this configuration you want to add a section called configuration with an includes in there and in there you want to include whatever your main uh Cucumber file is right. So in my case, this is Cucumber IT. So if we go to Cucumber IT, um, what I've got set up here is just a basic Cucumber IT test that I covered in the previous video. Again, that'll be linked in the description. The important thing here is that it's got this run with annotation. This run with annotation is a JUnit annotation. And in order for uh, Maven Surefire to pick this up, we're going to need to add the JUnit Vintage Engine because I'm using JUnit 5. If you're not using JUnit 5, you shouldn't need to add it. Um, what we're also going to need to add is this plugin section here, um, down in the plugin section. We don't need the version here and we don't need the configuration here because that is what is added in the plugin management section. Uh, and the other thing we need to add, of course, is uh, what I said, that JUnit Vintage Engine, which I'm using uh, 5.7. So now uh, I've added that, and like I say, if we look at the um, Cucumber IT, we've got that run with annotation. That's really important that we've got that there. My main class is the Cucumber IT class, so we've got that configured here. If we were to now go to the cheeky little terminal, we can run a Maven clean install or a Maven test, um, but it'll work for either or, it doesn't really matter. Maven clean install, and it'll run some uh, of the feature files that we have. There we go, so it's picked up the Surefire plugin. It's doing some stuff now, and you can see it's actually picked up the Cucumber IT. There we go. So it's gonna go along and it's gonna run on all of the tests. Uh, there are two in this project, because um, it was more of a tutorial. There we go, so it's ran two tests. There we go. Um, it's ran the Cucumber test, and you can just see that it's done that there. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to just uh, highlight to make sure that you're aware of is something I've completely forgotten what it is now. Damn. Oh yes, that's it. Um, you want to ideally make sure that your feature files, so whatever your features are, so I think mine was called memes or something stupid like that. Memes. So uh, your feature files, those things that your cucumbers are on, you want to make sure they're in the uh, source test resources folder and then in a folder called re uh, features. Uh, it just makes it a little bit simpler um, and it will pick them up better. Uh, I've had problems where you have different named folders, so just just keep that name for the folder and you'll be fine. Uh, I think that's everything. Au revoir, au revoir, au revoir, whatever. Bye-bye.